Okay, here's part two of our series. Now, what do we want to do? We want to build this circuit in software. That's what we want to do right now. Just build this, period. That's all. Hmm. All right, what will we need? We're going to need three of these lights. We're going to need one, two, three end gates two NOT gates, an OR gate, and an XOR gate. Hmm. All right. Let's get to work. Let's get the three lights. And those are input devices. Those are switches. So I'm going to put them right here. One, two, three. Then we're going to get, uh, I believe I said, three end gates. Let's get those now. Draw and uh, control device and gate. One, two, three. And I said we're going to get two NOT gates. So draw, uh, control device. Where's my invert gate? There it is. That's a NOT gate. One, two. And then I said I'm going to need a, a an OR gate. Draw, Control device, OR gate, one. And I'm going to need an XOR gate. Draw, control device, XOR. Bam. So we've got them all now. One, two, three, one, two, an OR and an XOR. And three of the switches. Okay, we should be able to draw that circuit without too much difficulty at all. So let me go back to selector. Now my mouse is acting like a mouse again. And so I'll put them like this. One, two, three. Okay, now my three end gates. Let me put uh, this here. And another one should go about here. And the final one will be out, the final output device will be here. Now I'll have two NOT gates. One will be feeding into this fellow, and one will be feeding into that fellow. I'm a little crowded now. And then the, the XOR gate should be here, and the OR gate should be here. Okay, let's wire them together, and then we'll worry about positioning them and making it look a little bit uh, more aesthetically pleasing. And there we go. So there's our basic circuit. Now what I want to do is connect them up like we we had in the picture before. Let's take a look at that picture again. So let's try and do that. Here we go. So draw and wire. I'm going to connect this fella to here. And then I'm going to connect this fella also to here. So it's going to two places. Then this fellow is going to go to here. What about this fellow? Where is he going? He is going up to here. This fellow is getting connected up to B also. B output's going to here. So let's go grab him. Draw, wire, and I'll draw from here. To here. Ah. Try it again. Okay. So the B switch is going to this AND gate here. It's also going to this XOR gate down here. Let's now connect the OR gate to the NOT, and we've got ourselves a NOR gate. And then we'll go back to wire mode, connect these two NOR gates, uh, NOT gates together, and we'll connect the two AND gates together. Ah, get back there, you. And the NOT gate and the AND gate input together. That's good. Now, 
I'm going to connect this fella right here to the input of the XOR gate. Come on, don't be nasty. There we go. And then the outputs of this end gate to, the, uh, to that end gate. And the output of this XOR gate to this AND gate. And there we go. We have our, uh, we have constructed our circuit. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we are now finished with part B of our three-part series, which is part B's purpose was to draw this circuit. And that is exactly what we have done. The next thing we're going to do is create a Boolean expression for this circuit. All right, we're done now for this section. Let's go to the next section now, which is where we're going to take this circuit and make a Boolean expression for it. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for listening. And so long, from Hoboken Gear.